Hello everybody. So today we'll be talking about the amphibian experiment recording of simple muscle twitch. First of all, let's see what is simple muscle twitch. So simple muscle twitch is a single brief electric shock of adequate stimulus applied to a nerve supplying skeletal muscle gave rise to brief contraction of muscle followed by relaxation. This is simple muscle twitch. So the preparation used is sciatic gastrocnemius preparation as they are labeled in the image. Sciatic nerve is being stimulated and which lead to muscle events which are recorded as the muscle tendon is tied with a thread to muscle lever. So this is the experimental setup as you can see here this is chymograph okay and the chymograph connected to tap key which is connected to primary key of induction coil this is called primary circuit secondary coil connected to short circuit key connected to electrodes stimulating electrodes this makes secondary circuit so primary circuit and secondary circuits are used to stimulate the tissue and the recorded events the muscle events are being recorded with the help of this isotonic muscle lever here is a writing point which is writing on a paper on moving drum fine so this is whole experimental setup and that's how so to get muscle twitch first of all we set the apparatus as shown in the image second is we attach the tendon to lever in after loaded condition that is we have to hang 10 gram weight here right so that we can we can get a graph on the chymograph then place the stimulating electrodes on now to stimulate them start short circuit key after taking baseline and drum speed should be 640 mm per second so that's all about procedure how we are getting simple muscle twitch the graph this is the graph what we get through that experiment in which you can see this line is stimulus marker as name shows and this is the event of muscle recorded below it is time tracing where one wave gives 0 0.01 second so there are various phases as you can see they are labeled so starting from onset of so starting from stimulus to onset of contraction is the latent period right starting from onset of contraction till peak of the contraction as you can see here this is peak so we draw a line and this period is contraction period okay from peak of contraction till end of relaxation gives you relaxation period and even after relaxation the baseline is not very steady instead there are various waves these are called physiological waves and these waves are because of inertia of lever. If we calculate these periods, as you can see in the image, we have to calculate either wherever is the point, whether it's trough or crust. Crust is elevated part of wave, trough is the below part. Or you can just say the upper part and the below part. Okay, so for example, A and B, they have one and a half wave. So the latent period comes out to be 0 0.015. As the one wave is 0 0.01 right b to c if we calculate for example from here we are calculating one two three four five and half wave so it comes out 0 0.05 five second again from c to d which is a relaxation period so from crust one two three four five six so relaxation periods comes out to be 0 0.06 second fine so that's all about simple muscle twitch curve so the components of simple muscle twitch are latent period which is the period from point of stimulus to onset of contraction now this is very important because this is the time period when nerve impulse goes throughout various phases and finally ultimately it leads to contraction coupling and then muscle response so basically action potential is being generated and that lead to 
some response of muscle so the whole process is latent period now what it contain is one is conduction of impulse along the nerve second is neuromuscular junction delay right third is calcium is being thrown outside inside the cytoplasm so from sarcoplasmic reticulum to sarcoplasm right so calcium efflux from sarcoplasmic reticulum then which then take part in excitation contraction coupling right stretching of series elastic element which is the tendon and inertia of recording lever contract is the period which is the period between onset of contraction to peak of contraction on the other hand relaxation period is period from we peak of contraction to end of relaxation components of components of such is precautions such is precautions such is precautions so we should not do unnecessary do unnecessary handling of tissue because now will rupture the finger add ringer add ringer add ringer add ringer at regular ringer at regular drum should drum should have a so that we can have a so that we can have a broad wave form to be carried. keep short sub keep short circuit keep close because so this is open when we have to survive it should be otherwise it should be closed to avoid accidental current current to the tissues so that's all about simple muscle twitch the procedure the precaution and the precautions thank you so much